Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Friday afternoon, November the 15th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast racing report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race three in their card. 1.18 p.m. Eastern Post Time, six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old, and up race for a claiming prize of some $30,000. Contenders number eight, Insolvent. Number five, Voodoo Tales. Number one, Ahmed. Indian Outlaw and number three Seven Dreams round out my contenders list. Number eight in Solvent, exceptional early speed for this sprint has produced a quartet of power runs in her last five, hitting the board in three, winning twice, including a blistering 12 length power run win in her last start. Jackie Cornelio Vil Cornelio Velasquez and trainer Rudy Rodriguez entered the post. They fit the board with 57% of nearly 125 entries saddled as a team to date, with their 28% win rate producing a positive 13% profit in the process. Number five, Voodoo Tails, the only entering this field not taking a step up in class. Recent past performance sheet show a power run win in her third race back. Race three summary, number eight, Insolvent, tops my contenders list today here at Aqueduct, which also includes number five, Voodoo Tales, number one, I'm an Indian Outlaw, and number three, Seven Dreams, eight, five, one, three, in the third from the Big A. Go to Churchill Downs of Kentucky next for race number six on the card, 3.04 p.m. Eastern Post Time, five and a half for a long sprint on the dirt track. Three year olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $12,600. Contenders number five, Kenny's Lake. Number two, Capital Goods. Number six, Kakomemnon. And number seven, Sun Sar. Number five, Kenny's Lake qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at today's distance of five and a half furlongs on the dirt. Takes a slight class drop, has produced power run performances in each of his last five starts. Number two, Capital Good Goods, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 6 summary, number 5, Kenny's Lake, tops my contenders list today here at Churchill, which also includes number 2, Capital Goods, number 6, Takamemon, and number 7, Sun Czar. That's 5, 2, 6, 7 in the 6th from Churchill Downs. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 3, the 8-1 to one shot, number 13, stock quote, drops in class by some 18 track master units. Good speed for the 6.5 for a long sprint. Mountaineer Park, race 4, entry number 5, Mr. Northwoods, 4-1 to one in the morning line, good overall speed for the smile test on the West Virginia dirt. So handicapping from the Big A, Aqueduct, and Churchill Downs on a Friday, for game four, the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.